Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with a blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. It is time to visit yet another star system. As you can see, we got ourselves a very nicely uh, explored all the way to here into the Forgotten Twins system which is where today's adventure is going to take place. New system, new something. Traces of space battle and five different planets. Well, that's not too bad. Unfortunately, we have no excavation uh, units left over. So, let's explore. The Cogiator screen highlights the uh, shapes of several buildings, a small settlement. The only one on the planet is a winter scale dynasty outpost. Visit the outpost. After a lengthy descent to the planet, you are rewarded with a dismal sight. The entire outpost consists of long columns of uniform bunkhouses, machine hangars, and large headquarters topped uh, with a massive antenna of the ancient Voxcaster. The binary suns hanging in the sky make every object cast two shadows. The spectacle of you finding it vaguely disturbing. The custodian and his people go out of the way to give you an esteemed guest a proper reception, but their resources are scarce as best. Talk to the custodian. Custodian shares alarming news. The outpost is highly dependent on various deliveries from core winter scale worlds, but two ships have already failed to arrive on schedule. The locals have uh, not have an astropath of their own, so the custodian cannot determine the cause of the delay or the aid. The outpost will soon run out of food at this rate, and the custodian sends urgent requests for provisions. He's begging you for help. All right, let's supply them. Custodian showers you with gratitude and uh, hurries to send gifts in return. The formerly grim, uh, grim and worried faces of the men light up in relief. Of course, no one wants to starve. Uh, that kind of goes without saying. Uh, we got an exotic needle rifle with a huge range and a decent ammunition. The return journey treats you to a rare and unspec uh, unexpected uh, spectacle. An eclipse begins as one of the two local suns covers the others. You watch as the temperature drops, uh, the lighting changes and the double shadows vanish. The two disks in the sky merge, forming a shimmering oval, then becoming one. Eventually, the uh, fantastic event passes, leaving behind a vivid memory. I like this double star. Okay, so that weapon is clearly better. Um, I would say thank you for that. Toxic shot and dead eye. Hmm. And has an additional hit chance. That's great. Because our ballistic skill is okay, but certainly not the best. We're not skilled uh, in it. But uh, that should give us quite a bit uh, quite a bit of hit chances. Okay. That was good. Help the winter scale, boys. Not too bad. Uh, typ uh, typical plasteel world, which we do not need. Lord Captain, there is an evidence of a recent uh, scuffle straight ahead of us. Throne, take me. This is not a frigate. This is a gutted piece of metal. Blimey, the culprits are here too. It's the Aldari freaks. I recognize their shiny asses even from a distance, except the Xenos are acting suspiciously. They're hovering in place and not even trying to run. Should we approach from a distance? Call off your people. Something is wrong. The children of Asuran are dismayed. We're doing something like this uh, with a monkey vessel. No, we're not enemies. I appeal to your prudence and the promise you made to not destroy my kin uh, for the deeds they did not commit. 
Lord Captain, we've received a report from the augury crew. The situation is unusual. Xenos ships uh, display no biological or energetical signatures. Even though they appear to be intact, according to the scanners, there is nobody on board. However, survivors believe uh, to be hiding in one of the compartments of the damaged vessel of the Imperium. We also spotted some drifting plates remaining to belonging to a third unidentified uh, vessel. Uh, dispatch a rescue team if there are any survivors on the frigate. It will be done. Got a couple of trophies. Lord Captain, the scouts managed to rescue several emaciated officers of the wrecked ship. Despite their wounds, they were able to tell us what happened during a patrol. The frigate uh, discovered an Aldari ship crossing the system and decided to immediately attack uh, the enemies of humanity. Xenos vessel proved too fast and skitterish, but at one point its engine failed, giving the frigate a chance to attack. When the guns are aimed, several Drukhari ships suddenly pounced from the darkness. At first they attacked from a distance, but soon boarded the frigate and wrecked the bloody massacre on decks. Uh, but it only by sheer miracle that the surviving officers managed to escape, locking themselves in hidden technical compartments the uh, Xenos had no use for. Survivors claim that the Xenos conspired and deliberately led the ships into a trap where it met its doom. The Xenos, uh, Xenos joined forces to eliminate the vessels of the Imperium. Mm -hmm. Why, Master Interrogator, I was thinking the exact same thing. At least you can finally agree on something. Earl, it goes like, how blind are the monkey to the vinces of their own kind? Humans attack a ship of the children of Asuran sailing peacefully by, but my kin's people are the ones who are to blame? No, my kin would not butcher the dark ones of their own volation and then abandon a ship. Okay, let's identify the remains of uh, the remaining vessel, Lord Captain, reporting that the hull fragments belong to the Drukhari Xenos race, but the presence of the ship in the system at this time has not been confirmed. Let's send sc uh, uh, scouts to the Xenos ship. Captain, the scouts confirmed our earlier report. Xenos ships are intact. Many valuable artifacts have been found. For instance, a shuriken catapult and uh, Xeno artifacts. We are late again, Elanach. Done everything we can, we're leaving. Okay, well, not much we can do. If they already killed each other, what exactly are you expecting us to do? The telemetry indicates that these are the remains of an imperial world. A sorry sight, it's unlikely that we will ever learn what catastrophe took place here. The crew were treated uh, to a truly impressive sight, a colossal storm. On the gas giant surface, the planet's dimensions in themselves were mind-boggling and the uh, birth uh, a tempest, the storm, to end all storms. As the Lord Captain and his officers observed it from a safe distance through the bridge's huge viewing windows, someone suggesting giving it a name. The Emperor's wrath garnered the most votes. Some of the crew believe, uh, believed the storm to be an omen. Wow, this is uh, the saddest, um, that is by far the saddest location that I've explored so far. It's really at the end of uh, the universe. A couple of ships that killed each other and other than that a single outpost of a couple uh, of a few poor souls that need to stay here. Well, I can't get to any of that, so we're doing safe warp travel. We're continuing to doing safe warp travel, 
and from now on there is no more safe warp travel which means all we can do is make it uh, from dangerous to unsafe and uh, since we cannot uh, scout because there is no further event with the navigators inside it's a huge map man have they planned for DLCs it is a truly 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 big map Again, only one. Unsafe. I don't even know what unsafe means. At this point, it could mean a lot. All right, Muro 79. Got a void station there. That's a good sign, I think. A strange and frightening discovery was made at one of the sites of the frozen world. Countless human bodies suspended in a clear ice of the glacier. The bodies showed no signs of injury. It was as if they dived into liquid water the moment before it turned into solid ice, freezing them in place with their eyes wide open and their hair fanning out from behind them. Hmm. Okay. Another ice world, but nothing, nothing really. The Dwarf Star, if they are lighting that hot, it still means they have uh, their burning helium. So it has a long lifespan. Also, the smaller they are, typically the longer they are living. Stars, I mean. All right, so we got plat steel here. Uh, as always, lots of little explorations left and right. But I've never found a never found a secret or anything. If we're getting close. There uh, are waves but that's about it oh I see this is a station that has been destroyed when the rogue sh uh, trader ship approaches the Adeptus Mechanicus void station it is met with a hostile scrutiny of the station's defense lasers an exploration Lexi Macanos, who introduced himself as server unit uh, 42, dispassionately inquires how the situation can be uh, of use for a rogue trader. Uh, proposed trade of resources. Upon consultation, Lex uh, Mechanical Service Unit confirms that the station requires a rare uh, trans terrarium elements of natural gas for the research of an undisclosed nature for its past station it cannot offer the rogue trader anything in exchange but the adeptus mechanicus represented on footfall would certainly repay him for the aid mm -hmm. I would but I don't have it that's the problem Hmm, not much happening in this part of the galaxy. I would absolutely love to give him the resources, but if we don't have it, what am I supposed to do? Good, making warp travel safe again. 
Come on, give me two points for once. No, that's just one point. And even worse, right? Um, even worse. Well, not worse. We could go to here with uh, with uh, security. Even worse, both of them are orange. But from here to here might be yellowish. I haven't found a green safe travel in a while. So... We never really had a surplus. I like the exploration part of it. The problem is so many things are just unfortunately not yielding any huge benefit. The crew has discovered a hidden valley littered with thousands of animal skeletons. Uh, Augur data suggests some kind of sleeping gas vents here it's likely that the animals uh, either uh, don't realize that they are heading up for a deadly trap or even come here uh, to die on purpose study the gas attempts to study the gas resulted in numerous cases of poisoning and nothing happened well fantastic we had a good medical check but unfortunately not good enough Another gas planet, the big ones are gas planets, typically don't have enough mass yet to then, um, to then become solid objects. The Orger has detected a wreckage of a void ship's vicinity, but the exact nature of the wreckage remains unclear. Look for the sources of the wreckage. The auger uh, reports that it has been registering no evidence of a disaster that could have produced such debris. Pick up uh, several pieces. Some of the wreckage is made out of plat steel, the rest is unknown material. Studying the preg um, fragments further is now impossible due to the severe corrosive damage. The non-metallic fragments also bear burn marks. That was a non-combat space event, wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? Fantastic. That was good loot from another ice world. Can't really do any other Reputation, need more material, more people. More people. Yeah, well, we need definitely more um, more reputation to further develop Janus. Wow, what a void episode so far. I, I'm actually quite sorry guys, we have been through three different systems and not much is happening. It's smooth sailing. So, we're back to one point, which means this here, the Mandas uh, Valencius, seems to be kind of a system where we do have uh, 
quest. It's one of our systems. So I like the idea of getting there sooner than later, but before we do it, let's do Latonsian's Passage. A couple of unknown ships again, that means space combat, at least that is going to happen. And we have an unidentified ruin. Uh, before we're doing that though, uh, we can still do that uh, on the dead world. Oh, that would be adamantine. This lone mountain chain composed entirely of mineral with some shiny mirror-like surface. The mineral itself has no particular value for production, but the properties make the place incredibly beautiful. The sky is brilliantly reflected in the many surfaces of the plateau, oddly shaped rocks, stone arcs and columns. The view is especially stunning on a clearly starry night. Uh, the enraptured uh, crew have asked the Lord Captain permission to visit these remarkable places. Sure. The shore leaves passed without incident and the ship's officers talked about it for weeks afterwards. Even the Xenos Irelid marveled at the rock columns, sprinkled it with reflected stars, as she even uh, deigned to speak to the other officers, telling them the place reminded her of Krudarak, her homeworld. And this would be a nice little adamantine resource. Good, off we go onto the dead world with our standard team. Let's go. Good. Seems to be a small outpost. I like those small uh, smaller the ones. Will bow. I offer up my thanks to thee, O Messiah, for granting me the ability to serve you as a predator whose prey is knowledge. Very good. The remains of an unknown structure are half uh stone. Got some athletics to get over Intriguing. here. Sure, let's try that. Nothing's impossible for this there. old officer. Over there. Uncover the pattern. A uh, strange pattern is enough to send your mind reeling. My warp sight reveals something. The human skeleton is curled up in an unnatural position inside a void suit with a hole buried right through it. This is Captain Trevor uh, Dunghart calling the Berlian. Get your asses back to the surface and get me out of here. You shits, my guts may be uh, fused to my suit, but I'm not dead yet, no matter how much you wish I were otherwise. A moment later, uh, the raging tone gives away uh, the strangled response. Hey, can anyone hear me respond? I'll pay you double just to not leave me here, damn it. It was going so well, we even figured out how to open the first sphere thanks to the pattern on the floor. Yeah, yeah, who knew? Uh, there'd be so much trouble with the second one. I didn't. They didn't either. Cowards. Oh, Emperor, you whore son. Why did you leave me here? Aren't you supposed to watch over me? That's not how it works, and specifically not if you're calling him those nasty words. Beneath my feet. I am not afraid to embrace the revelation and make others shriek I've and cover. Us. That is the difference between me and ignorant filth. Embrace true power. Good, redirect the warp beam energy. Opportunity. This can only mean we are going to be in trouble. 
is unseen uncover my path. Hmm. Someone has carved a strange pattern on the floor. You look at the lines. I tread a path unexplored. Ah, I see. Okay, so sure. Join me in prayer. Good, so that was the first one that we did. And from here to here to I don't know there is no station over here That we, we are missing this up here. I'm restless. Blessed be the road that we take. I failed. This task should have been accomplished easily. I failed. prevails okay I think we shortly need to get rid of our wounds because this year is I can already see that there is a fight coming up let's retry that back on the surface embrace true power Okay, so we got four of those systems. What if... Actually, five. If this here is the northern one... Okay, I do have an idea. If this is the northern one, then it shoots to here. My ascension has only just begun. I guide humanity between the stars. When the faithful I've seen a lot of innocent people. I've yet to see someone remain so after an interrogation. Look at the jaws. Okay, cool. I think we just found an ancient fo Whoa. One handed melee weapon. A force weapon. Okay. Kishing. Here you go, double four sword. Look at that, it's even pulsating. Nice, really nice.
Do I detect doubt in your voice? And I think that was pretty much it, right? The world trembles beneath my feet. Well, you know, sometimes it's not the big stuff. Uh, that piece of loot was worth the trip to here any time, any day of the week. Intriguing. I'm fine with it. Good, time for us to do a bit of space fighting. Let's go. As soon as you draw close to the unknown ship, it uh, points its uh, loaded cannons directly at you. Several other ships emerge from the shadows, drifting asteroids tightly encircling you. Captain Centra the Bush offers mocking greeting and a proposition. You should buy a way out of this, uh, but her price but, uh, uh, must be to her sole satisfaction. The outrageous suggestion sends your crew into a fu uh, fury. Yeah, well, she will see what the consequences of that are going to be. As in, she's going to get her ass whooped royally. Mighty machine spirit, lend us a modicum of thy power. 50 50, ooh, Falcon class is nasty. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to fly to here. Target. Let the incandescent beam scorch our enemies. That's a hit. Torpedoes are flying to here and then can turn around. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. The shield is seem to be broken. Time to unleash a counter attack. So if no, 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 that was not clever. Maybe it was, who knows? Back shields. That was an interesting round. Uh, we lost, uh, thanks to the ramming, all of our shields. So time for us to redo the shields and we're done. We need to restart the void shields. Plasma torpedoes are directly hitting. Fantastic, the explosion did exactly what I was hoping it would do. Micro cannons, annihilate them. Good hit. On our path, unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Uh, 
what is happening here? What's the debuff? Power sub warp engines. <laughs> okay. We're moving slightly to here, powering up our shields on that side. And up racing for impact. Let's go, boys. The side ca cannons are very, very strong. Torpedoes now. Still couldn't turn. Damn it. Ouch. It's almost gone. Decks are reporting all breaches. Executing damage control. Before we're doing anything, let's shoot these guys. Let destruction pour forth. Emblazon our path. Good, that's outside of torpedo range. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, we can't reach that ship. Uh, yeah, we're strengthening our shields on the back. Nice, the ship is almost dead. Let the Empyrean guide us. Unleash a storm of macro cannons. We engage it through massive plasma fire. Fantastic, with the exception of that one ship here. We got them all down. The target was well struck, Sherin. Blessed be the righteous fury of the exalted ones. We got a lot we took a lot of damage, but we also were beating four ships of them. Did we did we loot anything that was exceptionally good? No, but our new torpedoes were fantastic. I really like them.
And we're almost level 4. The new uh, movement uh, modes, they were good. They were fantastic. Oh boy, oh boy. Explored so many systems and not a single uh, one had a, had a larger fight in it or anything. We were just yeah, basically exploring, making some discoveries. On the flip side, we got uh, that nice little Psy Sword, the ancient Psy Sword, which fits us very, very well. Almost ready for the next level. Yeah, this is... Well, we need a lot of reputation for our planetary projects with the Drusians. But yeah, we there is no point in uh, doing it in the in a piecemeal uh, mill structure. Let's just get a, a couple of adventures going, and then we eventually can upgrade it by a stage or two. Good, safe warp travel to here. And then we're making this from dangerous to unsafe. The warp jump went surprisingly smoothly. No one on deck uh, officers on duty reported any incidents. However, a strange discovery awaited the Lord Captain when he returned to his quarters. The bed was unmade and the impression of uh, a head was still visible on the pillow. There were no other signs of intrusion. The guards swore under oath that nobody had entered Lord Captain's quarters. Alright, chart new routes. I need more points here to make them safer. And look at that, we could finally get to here, but uh, this is dangerous. Dan oh, no, dangerous. This is deadly. <laughs> okay, red. Don't do it. Okay, uh, given the timing, I know it sucks, but uh, this is a perfect, an absolute uh, perfect cliffhanger. And we're going to do exactly that. Uh, use it as a cliffhanger. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Next time we're going to visit uh, the Mundus Valencia system, which I think will be a little bit of a longer uh, one, uh, because if this exclamation mark means anything, uh, then uh, potentially that uh, this is the second big system of ours. And we're going to figure out uh, what exactly is happening here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Rogue Trader, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.